Hey everybody and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new 2020 and a half Forest River Salem Hemisphere Elite 36 FL fifth wheel. This is a front living room bath and a half fifth wheel camper. We're going to take a few minutes, walk you through the inside and then the outside of the fifth wheel camper. Alright guys, we're now up inside this new Hemisphere 36 FL. As you can see here, we are looking toward the front living room section of the coach. We're going to start here first. You have two opposing sofas there. Both sofas will make into beds. You got little nice uh, trays there that you can remove, but uh, do kind of set up nicely there for cup holders or, you know, if you're trying to eat and watch TV, you can sit right there and have a little tray there. Large flat screen TV, Jensen. Jensen DVD stereo system with indoor outdoor speakers, electric fireplace also in the camper. The unit comes standard with a little ottoman which does have some storage inside of it there. Plenty of storage on both sides of the TV and below. Nice vinyl floor up here in this section so it's easy to sweep out and keep clean. Deep tent safety glass windows and these windows up here in this section do open and they have little screens in them so you can get a pretty good amount of cross uh, breeze coming through here on a nice fall night. Spinning around looking toward the rear of the coach now you can see the theater seating has little lighted cup holders built in. They do recline so you can kick back and relax looking straight at the TV there. Ducted air conditioning. Nice arch to the ceiling in here. They use the Coleman air conditioning system, which is a little bit quieter than the Dometic version. A little grab handle there to help you get up and down the steps. Going down the steps, you enter into the kitchen area of the coach. You can see here, Quite a bit of drawer space and counter space. Overhead cabinet space. Little ceiling fan up there. Big turbo fan up here in the kitchen also. We're going to step down into the kitchen section here for you. Has the nicer Furion oven. It's a little bit larger than some of the ovens found, but it's also it has the glass front auto igniting has a little digital uh, temperature sensor in the center section there three burner gas stove top you have the larger microwave larger refrigerator with the freezer on bottom again vinyl flooring down in this section and a really nice size pantry area here. Don't forget guys to like, share, and subscribe if you're interested in keeping up with more of my videos on these new mid-year model change units. I like the new wood color. They went a little bit lighter, so it's got kind of a gray tone to it. Lighter countertops. Nice solid surface countertops there. Big window overlooking the campsite. Matching sink covers. A pull-out sprayer faucet also. And you can kind of see up here the pull down roller shades that cover most of the windows in the coach. Little bar stool area here. These are pretty nice bar stools that come with the coach. These actually have the little swivel tops too. And some more storage down underneath of there. Little accent LED lighting on the island. A 
Spinning back around here, you got some of your controls, your dual air conditioner controls there, fantastic fan control, ceiling fan control, and your automatic leveling jack system control also right there. Behind this door here, you have the little half bath section. You got your foot flush toilet there. There's also some little baskets here. Little medicine cabinet area, sink area here. This is great for guests. If you have guests up there sleeping on those sofas, they can actually come in here without entering into the main bathroom. And panning up here, you can also see a little exhaust fan, which does have a switch down here on the wall. Going up the steps to the back bedroom area, there's some heat return vents and stuff there that you're seeing. But uh, no carpet on the step, which is kind of nice, so when you're going in and out, the carpet's not getting as wore out. The main control center area here for your couple of your slide outs, your awning, the new 12 volt tank heater feature, which is really nice for winter camping. Some light controls, monitor panels, water pump, water heater switches, uh, another light switch up there. Has a pocket sliding door and you can see the little metal hook there that holds it in place instead of a plastic hook like you'll find on some of these other brands. More vinyl flooring up here through this section. Again, just makes it nice and easy to clean. You can see the second air conditioner back there. The bed does raise up, so there is storage underneath the bed. You have nightstands on both sides of the bed. Little pillow package and comforter and stuff comes with it too. USB charger port and electric outlet on the right side there. The windows on both sides of the bed do open. But plenty of uh, room to get around, make this bed. Decent amount of drawer space and closet space there. Another Jensen flat screen TV. That's a 32 inch flat screen they're using there. Going back to the bathroom area. Again, another little sliding barn door. Another fan control here, light switch. On the left side here, we have washer-dryer hookups. So if you are extended staying in the coach, you have room to do a stackable washer-dryer or another big hanging closet. On the right side here, there's a couple extra drawers here and some more space over here. You have a pretty large walk-in shower here. Does have the little sit-down seat. It's got the triple glass sliding door on it. Little overhead skylight there just for an extra few inches of height in the uh, shower area. Plenty of room in the bathroom to get in and out of the shower and get dressed in privacy. Have the foot flush toilet there. Decent amount of counter space area here. Couple mirrors. Little window in here which does also open. There's also a little fan up here. But overall, a really good sized bathroom back here. We're going to head on out to the outside now and take a quick look at that. Stay tuned for the outside. You'll see a really cool outdoor kitchen area and stuff that they have out there. Makes the uh, outside camping lifestyle really come to life. 
All right, guys, we are now on the outside of the new 36FL Hemisphere Elite. As you can see here, there is a lot of camp space on this side. It's not all taken up by a bunch of slide outs. So you just have one sofa slide, which is pretty small and kind of up out of the way. So you have a lot of room under the awning and camp area there. Um, that's really cool. I like that. Electric auto level jack system was ordered on this unit, and that gives you six jacks. Two in front, which are normal electric jacks to get it up and down off the truck. But then you have four more electric jacks in the back, two in front of the axle and two behind the axle. The new mid-year model change versions will come with the solar, uh, I'm sorry, Sol Air slide-out topper prep package, which is basically an awning track and some brackets up there so you can easily add slide-out awning covers to the coach if you choose to do so. There's solar prep on the side of the coach right down here. There is a battery compartment here. I like the uh, slam lock baggage doors and I like how the door swings instead of going up. So you have a pretty good amount of storage here in this section. I like the vinyl floor in this area also. Uh, light switch for the front, LED cap lights, battery disconnect switch and inverter switch right there. You can see the uh, welded aluminum tube framing. It also has that radiant foil insulation stuff there in that section too, just to try and help out a little bit. Enclosed underbelly. Power awning with the LED light strip, adjustable arm so you can tilt it for water runoff. Couldn't quite get everything all the way open because of our uh, beam here in the way. But I uh, just wanted to kind of get it out so you could get a good idea what it looks like. The more ride step above is on this unit, which is really nice. Holds more weight, makes it a little easier getting in and out of the coach. It doesn't shake and rock and roll the camper as bad. Also, this one is the upgraded version with the strut assist. So it's real lightweight and easy. A kid, small child can flip that thing up out of the way if they need to. I like the larger, more uh, curved down handle here. This large handle makes it easier for shorter or small children to get in and out of the coach. They have the little pet friendly hook there to leash the animals to. Aluminum wheels there. Your furnace exhaust out there. You got an electric outlet here. And you also have... Uh, storage back in this section too so another big storage compartment there little blue lights in the speakers the doors back here have magnetic holders to hold them up now this is really cool i love this outdoor kitchen section here you have a nice refrigerator back here this pull out area here so you've got a sink you got a little bottle cover or bottle opener thing there there's also a little grill griddle grill here that comes with it again i couldn't quite get everything out all the way um, but gets you a good idea what it kind of looks like even comes with a little ice maker thing here electric outlet back there to plug some more stuff in lights area there and we'll see more when we get around to the other side we also have another little TV area out here. A little 32 inch flat screen TV, it looks like, by Jensen. Another outdoor speaker you can see there. We're going to pan back here a little bit so you can get a little bit better view down the side. But really cool. I love the way that's all set up there. Really kind of get you outdoors and let you do a lot of stuff outside without having to be in the coach all the time ladder going up and down the top pre-wired for backup camera or observation camera definitely recommend the observation camera so you can use it while driving down the road talk with your salesperson about that typical four inch square two bumper on the back just good place to store dump hose or something back there 
You can also like attach a little bike rack or something to it if you needed to. Holds a few hundred pounds. 10 gallon gas electric water heater. 50 amp electric service detachable power cord that you're seeing there. Now with the bathroom and stuff being on the back, you have two dumps on this unit because everything's so far apart. But you have a dump back here for the back bathroom section. And you're going to have another dump up toward the front for the kitchen section when we get up there. Nice pull-out tray here. Again, giving you more outside storage space. Huge area out here. Just slides right on back in. Pretty cool feature. Now you got your docking station area here, so you've got a couple dump handles here. Outside utility shower, black tank flush, cable, satellite hookups, a water filter built into the coach right over there. Really nice. Uh, but a lot of little hookups and stuff right there. Everything feeds up through the bottom there. And then you can close your doors so nobody can mess with your stuff. The other side of the storage compartment, again, a swing door instead of an up and down door. I like that feature. Going up a little further here. <clears throat> nice clean area down there. The other dump area right there. Two 30-pound propane tanks with the auto changeover regulator right here. The other side of the storage compartment up front. Now you do have some informational stickers up here. And basically this stuff will tell you kind of production date. This camper was built 9-9 of 2019. VIN numbers, model numbers, all that stuff's right here. Tire size, ST23585R, 16F range tires. Gross vehicle weight, that's hitch weight and axle weight combined. Most you can load a camper to, this camper to, 15,500 pounds. So that's the gross of the camper. Some more informational stuff over here. Now over here, you will find a separate sticker that tells you the dry weight. This camper is 12,852 pounds dry. Underneath the front section there, a second battery goes on there so it's locked up out of the way, not sitting underneath where it could be stolen. Controls for the front jacks also right there. I'm gonna back back out here again a little bit so you can check out the front section. Little LED light there traditional hitch pin now you can upgrade those aftermarket trail air makes a really nice one also more ride does too talk with your salesperson about that and they did a little uh hook thing here a little holder for your power cord it's kind of nice usually you got to tuck them away and kind of shove them up in the tube there but overall really nice front living room for the price point this thing comes in the way it sits, a little under $48,000. So definitely, again, talk with your salesperson. We'll be uh, glad to help you out here, save you a lot of money. Toll-free number, 888-417-8299. Give Couches RV Nation a call. They will save you a lot of money.